Just go reinforce Sumer. Oh, come on! Oh, look at their background. It's so different now. Look at this fancy Hammurabi. New cabinet. Look at our, look at our people here. Defense minister, domestic advisor, foreign minister, science advisor. I like how they're all clearly famous historical figures. Oh, look at the protesters. They're like... They're wearing leather jackets with picket signs. <laughs> look at that. These two people also. Domestic advisor, foreign minister, same person. <laughs> It's the same person. No, no, no. I put on some lipstick. I'm clearly domestic advisor today. Hmm. Look at that. Power plant. We've got power lines. We've got electricity. Wait, how are we building power plants without discovering electricity? How does that make sense? Whoa! -ho -ho! Look at this. We've got computers. Probably will lose that city. Okay. We've had a little break, and now here we are back checking out our empire. You know what? I think moving forward, I should consolidate my gains. I have conquered most of Western Europe here, up until here. There's Bremer right there. I'd like to own that, but I guess it's fine. It's currently rioting, so... But we're not at war with them. Uh, we did take their capital. Or did, did we destroy their capital? I can't quite remember at this point. Down here, going into Babylon, we are not cracking this nut, so I think we just hang back, fortify up. We have the Great Wall, so they have to declare peace. Let's just... let's just build things up. So here we're gonna... Uh, how, how expensive it is to buy this? I just want to buy this right now, get that next turn. Uh, Hamburg... Getting a granary. I think we should... Uh, go ahead and... No, not cavalry. Not cav uh, Get a, a knight. Knights are still our best unit. So yeah, go ahead and get a knight. Uh, Leipzig has two units. We're getting a courthouse. I, uh, I think that's fine. Byzantium. We're getting a knight here as well. Okay, so uh, all of this seems to be in order. We're getting a knight there. I, I want to make sure there's like at least two, minimum two units. Rome is like the least defended. And I want city walls everywhere, right? Because once we get city walls, yeah, here we should just get another unit first. Phalanx is five turns, knights is 12 turns. Phalanx is cheaper to produce. So I think if we're just going to be defending, we should just do that. Like uh, we're not going to be on the offensive so much back here. So let's just get two phalanxes in each of these cities and do a little bit of extra defense here for Hamburg and Sumer because that's where things are going to be coming from. Meanwhile, if I check my advisor and check our trade advisor, we are currently... Total cost is 38, total income is 51, discovery is 47 turns. I should start turning back our tax rate. Let's do a bit more science. Let me check that. Uh, trade advisor, is that fine? Total income 43. Can I go one more step? Uh, let's try 60%. Advisor, trade advisor. I'm just not doing... Oh no, that's losing money. Okay, so we got to go back up one more. 70% tax rate. Okay, good, good. Uh, Babylon should declare peace at some point. Let's end the turn. <laughs> Oh, I see. Indian units are still running at us. Damn Gandhi. So aggressive. Funds are running low. Yeah, don't, we're just spending money. So here, we've got three units here and city walls. So now let's change this to uh, just building up, right? Uh, let's go ahead and get... What's our... Tr do we have... We have like not much going on here, do we? Let's have a look at Byzantium. Yeah, not much is going on. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's uh, um, get a settler so we can start developing these areas. That sounds like a good idea. We do have room for one city back there. I'm just gonna fortify a unit there. Nicopolis, got this. Uh, do we have city walls here? We do have city walls. So let's go ahead and get uh maybe i'll get another settler here yeah fortify there 
Sumer got another unit. Let's get another phalanx here. We don't have city walls here, so I kind of really want to try and uh, be careful about here. Yeah, the, these Indian units, they're just uh, sneak attack by Indian forces. They just, they, they don't give up. <laughs> they just keep attacking me. But then we have great walls. Every time we talk to them, they have to leave us alone. Uh, anyway, we're getting J.S. Bach's Cathedral, which is going to really make everyone happy. Right, let me just make sure I got the right one here. Civilopedia, City Improvements, J.S. Bach's Cathedral. Um, oh, this increase... I clicked on Isaac Newton's J.S. Bach's Cathedral. This is decreases unhappy people on continent by two per city. So two happy people per city. That's huge. It means I can drop my luxuries rate. How many turns until this is done? Uh, seven turns? Okay. How much to buy it? Okay, too expensive. That's fine. Let's keep going. Oh no. Right. I forgot. We discovered invention. Very good. This allows steam engine with physics, gunpowder with ironworking. We should probably go for gunpowder. That seems like a good thing. Which discovery next? Yeah, if I get gunpowder, that will give us lots of units. Can I? Yes, finish this phalanx. Activate this unit. Because this is a, a legion. So attacking it makes more sense. How many turns till this is done? Uh, six turns. Ah, this is just not... I'm going to activate a unit here. I have to attack. I have to attack. This, this is... Please. Okay. Whew. Fortify. Now you are going to just go reinforce Sumer. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> I can't hold on to Sumer. It's so annoying. And they took invention from me. This is so annoying. Okay, yeah, you, you wake up. Uh, I guess... I guess we'll just have to maybe try... I, I just want them to... I just want a, a time of peace. I just want a time of peace. How, how can we achieve that? This is gonna attack me next turn. We do have city walls. Maybe it's enough to hold that. Uh, fine. We, we just have to see how things pan out. Please survive. Okay, at least we survived that. So for now, you are gonna go reinforce Hamburg. Carthage built another unit. Um, how long for a city walls here? Why is it so... Oh, we just have like no production here. Wow. Um, get a, a settler, I guess. Yeah, fortify... No, not go. Nope. Wrong, wrong button. Fortify. Okay. A catapult, huh? So let's activate you. Um, you know what? Actually, I think that's a forest tile. I'm just going to fortify right there. Babylonians. Do I want to hold Sumer? Sumer is like really hard to hold. But no, I don't want to talk to you. I, I, I would like to hold Sumer. Now, you go deal with that catapult before it gets to us. Very good. Byzantium build settler. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, we do have city walls here. Um, what should we get? You know what? Let's just... Uh, build a marketplace, I guess? Sure. You are going to fortify right there. If we retake Sumer, we're going to have to properly do some stuff. 
Now, Byzantium has like no trade, which means we got to go around building roads. You are going to step right there because that gives us... Oh, no. Oh, no. That gives us control of that tile so we can take that tile back. <laughs> now, you activate this. Uh, and then we can retreat this back into the city. You have to kill that catapult and then re-fortify. You start building roads so that we can actually get some trade going there. This horseman is going to run at us. We got J.S. Bach's Cathedral. Oh, look at it. It's so colorful. Rome is looking good. We've got pyramids. We've got like the Colosseum. We've got the Great Library. Uh, okay, so first of all, I need to make sure our capital is actually protected. So let's go ahead and get uh, another phalanx and some city walls here. That seems like a good idea. That also makes everyone happy. Nicopolis builds settler. Fantastic. Uh, you build a phalanx. Now... Leipzig builds courthouse. Good. Less corruption. Very good. So this is Leipzig. We can change this to maybe another settler. Yeah, we got a lot of development to do. Wait, no, we don't have city walls here. How long for city walls? 30 turns? Yeah, I think settler first, then city walls. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, yeah, Rome's getting that. Nicopolis is getting that, yes. You're fortified there. I should... That is a forest tile, right? Never attack things on forest tiles. <laughs> it's just too dangerous. So I'm going to wait right here. Now you... Now this is... We're building a settler there. So Nicopolis... Yeah, we can do some tile improvements here to keep things going. So you... Go irrigate that tile. Hamburg, we've got another one of these. Uh, do we have, we have city walls here. I want to get another um, phalanx just to make sure this tile is really defended. I don't want to lose Hamburg. Oh, come on. Okay, at least we won that. We gotta save the game, sure. <laughs> oh, we're losing money, damn it. Uh, oh, right. This is what I want to do. Luxuries rate. Okay, that is 0%. Uh, tax rate has to go up again. Uh, we can't do science at this rate. We just need to get so much more trade going. Is that not... That's definitely more worth it. Yeah, hold that. Okay. Just re-fortify. Okay. Rome requires an aqueduct for further growth. We can work on that. Cesarea builds city walls. Very good. We need everywhere needs city walls. It is imperative. Without city walls, you just you just die. Okay, Cesarea looking good. Um, what's here? We need to get more le not legions. We need to get more phalanxes. Yeah. Good. So Rome needs an aqueduct to continue growing. So let's build an aqueduct. Oh, there's no city walls here either. Wait, how long for city walls? Uh, 12 turns. Same as the aqueduct. I think aqueduct first. I think... I feel like... Oh no... They're just coming right at us. Can we... Uh, okay, fine. We can do this. <laughs> um, I want to expand our central tower for a little bit here. Let's go four. Yeah, that, that looks fantastic. Get some glass going. Grows taller. Okay, they're just charging right at us. How do we... How do you even talk to someone? Um, like, how do you talk to someone else? 
civilization score demographics how do you how do you contact another civilization is it only they talk to you like intelligence advisor babylonians war like i don't know how to talk to them uh how do i i don't I need to activate an, a knight here i think it's like this guy right here is they just uh need embassies okay for you yeah you're just gonna continue up that way you so how how long until i get this next unit here is it one turn yes one turn so we we got some time there so let me send this okay we won oh okay <laughs> we just have to cesaria request cesaria oh this is also grown right so we got that let's start training a uh, knight we need to i i want i want them to just leave us alone go away why did we oh that's a forest tile <sighs> It's not a forest tile. How? How did that catapult beat us? That's so unfair. Oh, no. That's so unfair. I mm, irrigate. Is that going for Hamburg now? Copolis, what tile can we improve here? That's the better tile to improve, but. I think I'll just do this. Babylonians. Okay, fine. I'll say yes. They have to declare peace. Oh, look at their background. It's so different now. Look at this fancy Hammurabi. <laughs> We're in a new era. Okay, yes. Uh, we ignore your hollow threats. Go away. Yes, accept peace. Now, it's only going to last, like, a turn. We welcome peace with the Babylonians. Go away. Yes. It doesn't last long. <laughs> peace never lasts. Irrigate. It'll just buy us a couple turns before they just waltz up and they're like, Oh, surprise attack! Hamburg. Okay, we're getting another phalanx there. Caesarea got another unit here. I, I need to get some... Uh, build the aqueduct. 40 turns. We just don't have the production in this game. Fortify. Uh, our cities are a little bit too cramped. Okay, finally. The Indians are talking to us. They're still in their ancient era. I'm not declaring war on the Chinese. We ignore your hollow threats. But we can have peace, which you are forced to say. <laughs> we welcome peace with the Indians. For now. <laughs> wow, Civ 1, where a battleship have 5% chance to lose against the militia. Dude, we're like... Settlers are like the best unit. Settlers will kill a tank. They just they just take their... What, what tool do settlers... Settlers in this game, they're a, a wagon. <laughs> See, this is a wagon. It kind of looks like a face. Right? You see it's like two eyes, a mouth, <laughs> with some spiky blue hair. But no, it, it's like a wagon, right? This thing will destroy a tank. <laughs> it's so insane. City walls. Okay. So we, we have a little bit of a breather here. Just a tiny bit of a breather. Let's try and not die while we just train up more units to hold the line yeah you fortify right there see this catapult they're just oh they're gonna attack there instead okay good that that, that actually helps me okay um i'm not entirely sure what determines when roads have trade so you see this this city here, all the ro uh, tiles with roads have one trade, but in Byzantium, it doesn't do that. 
and I'm not entirely sure what the difference is between these two cities. Is it just size? Because I'll build a road there. Is this catapult going to attack me? Oh, suddenly all the Indian soldiers are just attacking that city. Okay, Carthage builds settler. Very good. Um, city walls. Oh, settlers consume so many resources. Yeah, we need to build some mines, I think. Just on, like, not hill tiles. So I can build mines anywhere, right? Yes. So I think we got to start throwing some mines down. Uh, meanwhile, let's connect these two cities by road. Soldiers just waltzing everywhere. It's all very scary. I just need to make sure city walls and units are everywhere. Yes, let's build a road. <sighs> okay, so nice irrigation there. So let's build some mines. Let's build a mine there. We have this unit here. Keep training another one. I want to make sure this catapult does not go to Rome. Isn't it crazy that I can't walk south? Because... Fortify right there. Because that unit is there, even though this is pretty much my territory. Yeah, take a step back. <laughs> uh, Rome builds aqueduct. Fantastic. Oh, <laughs> it's like it's just dumping the water <laughs> into the city. Does it? Does the water go underground? Like, what? What is the? What's the plan here? <laughs> okay, so now this place definitely needs city walls. Please defend it. Ah. Uh. Cesare needs aqueduct. Okay. Oh, we can build mines on mountains as well, right? I don't know, mountains. Is there a mine there? I can't... No, I just... Oh, mine. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're currently not at war with anyone. Byzantium builds marketplace. Very nice. Very good. Oh, we get... Roads don't produce trade on forest tiles? Is that how that works? Okay, uh, that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and build... A courthouse, I guess? Also, I just need to check. Do I have any... Um, did I manually appoint any entertainers? I think they've all gone... Oh, no. Right, I can... I can... Put a resource back down there. Because we got JS Box Cathedral. We can... Get some good production back here. Anywhere else? No more unhappy people. Fantastic. Uh, okay, there's already a mine there. Fine, let's set up a mine there. Hamburg has a third unit now. Fantastic. Let's build a marketplace because we just... If I check my f uh, trade advisor, how much money are we making? 48, 42, discoveries 45 turns. Yeah, we, we just have been at war for so long. Don't forget to abuse your settlers for one turn improvements. Oh, you mean if you have them both build on the same tile? Does that make it go faster, or does it just double the speed? But then if something takes three turns, and you have two settlers do it, does it do it in two turns or one turn? Huh, I never sort of th thought of that. Gaza builds lighthouse. That's okay. I didn't really want that one. Increases sea movement rate. Yeah, we're not doing sea movement. Uh, let's wake up this guy. Um, this is from Nicopolis, which currently does not have much production. So I'm going to move this into Rome and set this as home city. 
but I will keep it up here to make sure units don't just waltz towards us. Was this the one where you could use caravans to rush wonders? I don't know if you can do this here. You can do that in Civ 2. Mines take forever to do it. Well, uh, it's fine. Um, I'd like to develop these tiles. It's just a little bit tricky. Since we're not currently at war, how do I actually, how do I want to do this? Let's send this phalanx over to that deer tile. So I get to keep that deer tile. You are going to fortify right there. This, this Bremer, Bremen city has just been... Chinese civilization destroyed by Indians? They were The Chinese were the only ones who've never declared war on me, and now they're gone. <laughs> uh, okay, well, hmm. So I get to keep that tile now. Very good, yes, yes. It's a better tile. Uh, Nicopolis builds another unit. Um, how do you size 8? So size 10 city is 550,000. Okay, I got to keep that in mind. Um, let's change this to marketplace. Yeah, just keep increasing how much money we can make. Now, this unit, do I want to... How do I want to... Maybe I just leave it here. How's, how's Hamburg right now? Has three units. Okay, I guess three units feels safe. Wait, I built a mine and it planted a forest? Is that... Wait, if you build a mine on a grassland tile, it plants a forest. Huh. Okay, interesting. I didn't know it did that. <laughs> um, sure. What are we doing here? Uh, we have to get an irrigation over to that side. Can I irrigate that tile? Babylonians want to speak with me. Sure. Yes. I didn't know we could plant forests. Yes, what do you want? Oh, they want to trade technology. Do we want democracy? No, we don't need democracy. I can actually change government anytime. Because I got the pyramids. We welcome peace with the Babylonians. Look, look at it. Look at Hammurabi's deceitful smile. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all their uneasy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, we welcome peace with you. <laughs> Thought we needed a tech. Uh, because I built pyramids, I can change governments to any time. Um, to anything, rather. So I should actually check. Um, do I want to do that? Uh, miscellaneous. So these are all the government types. Currently, we're a monarchy, which... Normal economic effects. Units require one resource per turn to maintain. Military units in city decreases unhappiness. Okay. So under democracy, plus one trade per square where trade exists. Must accept all peace offers. Military units in city do not decrease unhappiness. No martial law. Military units not in city increase unhappiness. Units require one resource per turn to maintain. No corruption. Civil disorder leads to anarchy. Okay. Democracy, right now, for what we want to do, democracy is a better form of government. So, I think we should change. Revolution. Yes, we need a new government. The Romans are revolting! <laughs> uh, can I irrigate this tile? No. Okay. So, what happens if you irrigate a forest tile? What happens if you irrigate a forest tile? Does it get... German civilization... That was the last German city right there. The Germans are gone. Uh, democratic. Forest goes to grassland. Oh, it's just 
terrifying. Rovum government change to democracy. New cabinet. Look at our look at our people here. Defense minister, domestic advisor, foreign minister, science advisor. I like how they're all clearly famous historical figures. <laughs> right? Like, oh yeah, of course. Um, look, so so India is down here has conquered the remaining Germans. I didn't couldn't believe that's they've got conquered the Chinese. So India is currently probably a very scary civilization, right? Seems like a scary one. Okay, so what we're doing here. And if I check trade now. Every tile that produced one trade now produces two trades. So if I check my... Hold on, advisors. Trade advisor. Oh, we're making so much money. Uh, uh, so much science as well. Uh, tax rate. Let's go ahead and drop tax rate. 50% maybe? Advisor. Trade advisor. 50. We're still making money. Okay. Now is a scientific golden age. Let's uh, push science as fast as we can. Okay. 43, 42. Discoveries every seven turns. Fantastic. So you are going up here to terraform that tile. The wealthiest civilization. The mediocre civilization of the Romans. <laughs> okay. Not... I don't know if... Um, civil disorder in Rome. Oh, no. Fine. I will... Um, get an entertainer. Okay. Irrigate that tile. Irrigate that tile, I guess. So we have to irrig irrigate the tile to get rid of oh, so much trade now. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Um, so this tile is kind of jank anyway. So I just planted a forest there, which is not great, but sure. Uh, <laughs> um, is this city even growing? There's a food shortage. Yeah, this is not great. We need to irrigate these tiles. Uh, Gandhi is probably the scariest civilization right now. But we've got gunpowder. Ah ha ha. Gunpowder. Musketeers unit. Do we need these other techs? I'm not sure. Existing barracks obsolete. Gunpowder cancels the effect of Great Wall. Okay. <laughs> right, I forgot about that. Um... Do we want democracy, navigation, or the Republic? I feel like we need to grab navigation. We don't really need the governments. Navigation probably leads to more important things, right? I, I'm not planning to sail, but... Oh, is Babylon gonna attack me again? This is very annoying. I do have city walls. I do have three units. I'm gonna get a marketplace here. Okay, if I check trade and science, oh, there's so much trade here. This, this is quite, you know, some of these cities are really nice. If I check world and there's top five cities, we can actually see Rome, Caesarea and Carthage are all in the top five cities. Three of the, uh, the top five cities are mine. Um, Thebes, Egyptian. I've not actually met them. Huh. Okay, that'd be down there. I should get one boat, right? Then, oh, right. It's unhappy because this unit is outside of the city. I forgot. Now we can put the, the resource back. Right, units outside of cities make people unhappy. So that there's that phalanx right there, which is kind of doing an important job. Okay. Can I get musketeers? Two, three, one. That's higher defense. Very good. Can we upgrade units? Let me activate this phalanx. Can we upgrade units? Are there, are there upgrading units? Gilgamesh, you're asking if I'm really online or is this a video? No, no, I'm online. 
If you're watching this on YouTube, no, this is a video. But if you're watching this on Twitch, no, it's live. <laughs> um, no upgrades here. Oh, that's so annoying. So you have to like train whole new units. There's no Leonardo's Workshop, is there? Because I, I always like that one, City Improvements. There's no Leonardo's Workshop. No. No upgrading of units. Right. So, how long does it take to train a musketeer? I should train a musketeer and then just disband, like, replace, like, some of these, like, at least the frontline cities. Rome build city walls. Finally. I feel much more defensible now. So, musketeers are the best defensive unit now. They also have two attack, which. Doesn't match knights, but yeah, okay. It matches cavalry in terms of attack power. Okay, so yeah, just just build a musketeer and then we'll disband a uh, phalanx. Leipzig build city walls. Very good, yes. That's what I like to see. Um, what do we need here? See, the odd thing is we can re rebuild all our barracks. <laughs> Maybe I should be doing that. Shakespeare's Theatre. What does that do? Okay, I should actually just rebuild all my barracks first, right? That actually makes more sense. So then... I always found this weird. That barracks become obsolete, and then you have to rebuild all the barracks? Let me check. Uh, city improvements. Uh, where is... What was the wonder? Shakespeare's Theatre. What's it do? All unhappy people in city are content until the development of electronics. Uh, it's just one city. Yeah, Civ 2 auto sells your barracks. Wait, so if I build a barracks now, does it even do anything? Uh, let me check. Barracks. Uh-huh, yes. New units are veterans when produced at a city containing barracks, giving them advantages, combat against some non-veteran units. Like, it should still work, right? I should build a barracks before I get the musketeers? Right? I think. Put the road there. Irrigate that tile. Oh! The Babylonians have declared war on the Indians. Perfect! Yes, that's exactly what I want. Okay, good. Got a courthouse here. So that unit out there is making people unhappy, but I think it's fine for now. Um, let's get a library, I guess. Yeah, we need to improve the city a bit. It's just kind of on the front lines. So it's kind of scary to do that. I guess it's fine. Hmm. That one city can support all your offensive troops in a democracy and is still content. <laughs> yeah, I suppose that's... But you gotta do some weird stacking in this game if you want to really be efficient. It's amazing how defensible that Bremen city is. Okay, Carthage should now be not starving. That's good to see. Let's irrigate this tile. Let's build a road there. Now we want to go up and improve that tile. I could build a city for those two fish. Oh, that's a bunch of barbarians. Okay, irrigate that tile. Irrigate that tile. Hope. Oh, Bremen has fallen to the Babylonians. Nicopolis. Yeah, we can improve this tile. Irrigate there. Oh, there's no irrigation there. Right. So we have to irrigate that tile. Oh, I wish I held on to Sumer. It just blocks that, that choke point so well. Rome builds barracks. Good. Uh, so now... Do I want... I should get a library in Rome. There's a lot of science here. 
So I should get that soon. Leipzig builds backs. Very good. So now we can start training musketeers. Secrets of navigation. Fantastic. A boat for Carthage would uncover workable towers across the sea. I could I could go to to England. Magellan's expedition. I don't know if that's physics. Okay, that that sounds important. Yeah, I should actually what is this building an aqueduct? What sail? Does that mean a sail boat? Okay. Once this aqueduct is done, I'll I'll get a boat to actually explore a little bit. That seems important, right? A road there. No, we can't irrigate this. So we have to go irrigate that tile. Cesarea is getting an aqueduct. Hamburg builds barracks. Okay, we're getting all our barracks back. Discover the new world. Uh, musketeer. So I want to replace my phalanxes with musketeers. At least one, you know? Cesarea builds aqueduct. Very good. It just it does just dump the water into the ground. Okay, so let's get 14 turns, really. Maybe this is not the best city to build a boat. Um, build a library. There's so much trade here, right? What is Rome doing? Library. Let's get a sailboat from Rome. You irrigate there. Okay, Hamburg could do with some improvement. This run is going better than I expected. What difficulty it is? It's Prince. I think Prince is a good difficulty for challenge, but not too hard for an inexperienced player. Uh, what am I doing in Nicopolis? What is this city doing? Hmm. We built a marketplace. Let's get a... I don't really understand how caravans work in this game. I should probably check that. They seem kind of important. Let me, um, maybe not here, but let's, uh... Hmm. 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 I get a library. There's a decent amount of science there. Let me check. Civilopedia. Would it be military units? It's not a military unit. Miscellaneous? Trade routes. Uh-huh. Okay. Created by caravans. Very informative. Is caravan here? No. Like, what does a trade route actually do in this game? It is under military units. Okay. Uh-huh. Requires trade. What does it do? Like, <laughs> I don't actually understand what it does. Uh, fine, whatever. Okay, we got uh, one of these. Uh, this only had two units anyway, so let's go ahead and build a marketplace. Yep. We can fortify Leipzig feeling safer now. Pirates plunder Carthage. Production halted, food stolen, citizens demand barracks. What? Carthage is demanding a barracks? Okay. You work there. Okay, start growing again. <laughs> Random events. <laughs> trade routes give you trade per turn plus initial gold. Right. Trade per turn. Okay, I, I gotta... Should I have sent... I'm just not... Like, th does it work like Civ 2? Which was... It's confusing enough already, Civ 2, you know? Um, but I assume it's... You can have three trade routes per city? There's a fish here. But building a city... Unless I build it there? I could build a city there, but it's kind of not a great spot. But I guess 
A bad city is still better than nothing, right? Uh, does that tile need improvement? Oh, that tile does need improvement. Okay. Let's just keep improving. Oh, we got a boat. Let's... So a boat does cost one production. Let's build a caravan in Rome and then see what it does. Civ2 so had supply and demand. This one just has minimum distance, you think? Okay, so if I build a caravan in Rome and I send it to another city to establish a trade route, Rome benefits, I think? Now, do sailboats sink? As soon as I build a boat, a pink boat appears. Who are you? Civil disorder in Rome. Right, because there's a unit outside of the city. <laughs> All right, right. Okay, that makes sense. Um, if the caravan counts as a military unit outside of the city, I'm going to be very upset. You just irrigate there. Uh, you road tile there. Okay, so now we want to uh, change this to library. And I want to disband the phalanx. So fortify there. Let's finish scouting this coast first. You irrigate there. So, orders, disband unit, disband unit. Okay. I don't know what they're planning to do. Order restored in Rome. Okay, very good. Um, now, this guy. I wanted to go improve those two tiles, but how do I get a irrigation to those two tiles? Uh... It makes sense if I got rid of the trees around Byzantium. So I will send this guy around the top. Just exploring here. Very good. Send him back the other way. Oh, come on. I forgot boats can attack. <sighs> who are you? Who, who is it even is this? Um, world. Can I can I even see who they are? Uh, advisors. Um, intelligence advisor. Who who are they? Oh. Yeah, I know the deer is worth keeping. I, I'm not irrigating there. Don't worry. I'm going around the right side. So I want to get rid of that forest tile. Um, what is this doing? Acropolis, right. Wait, what? What? This is a settler. I want to send it up one tile? But it's saying I would break a treaty? What? I'm telling the settler to move up a tile. But moving the settler up one tile will break the peace treaty with the Babylon. What is this a bug? What is <laughs> What happens if I say break treaty? What What happens? There might be a secret Babylonian city there. Invisible unit. Well, I wouldn't mind going back to war. Fine, let's head that way. Okay, is that? Oh, that was an Egyptian unit. Check Nicopolis's tiles. Well, Nicopolis is revolting. Uh, Colosseum is actually needed here. What? That's the worst tile. Okay, good. Okay, we got physics. Mm-hmm, physics. This just allows other things. 
magnet steam engine Ooh, uh, university ah let's go um let's go university so we can just make science go burr byzantium builds library very good yes um what is this doing right uh got a new barracks here i think so I can't irrigate this tile. No. I can't move my settler to the right. I think I'm going to have to go back to war with the Babylonians. Now, what's a good way to do this? Um... Musketeers. Two attack, three defense. That's pretty good. This is currently building a library. Sumer is empty? Oh. So it is. Sumer is empty. Um, let's try head up instead. I will... There we go. But why couldn't I head up? Why couldn't I walk upwards here? The city is there. I couldn't walk up, but I could walk there. How does that make sense? Hmm. Do I have to talk to the Babylonians? Sure. It's worked. So if the tile is worked, I'm not allowed to walk on it. But if it's not being worked, then it's fine? We don't need democracy. President Zack Caesar. <laughs> uh, wish of peace. Yes, peace for sure. Okay. So there's this city here. This city does not have walls, right? No. Okay. All right, my ship. An oasis. Okay, what other units do I have around here? Let's wake you up. Wait right there. Uh, right, I wanted to irrigate this tile to get rid of the forest. Oh wait, cancel action. Um, this is very strange positioning. Okay, I have surrounded their city. <laughs> Romans acquire democracy from great library. <laughs> See, I told you I never needed that. Any tech I I neglect to get, I eventually get until democracy uh, until the great library becomes obsolete. Anyway, okay. Wait, Sumer just changed hands. It was empty, and now the Indians took it. Civil disorder in Rome, right? Because units are running everywhere. Um, oh, this is very unhappy. Does that work? We are starving now, but sure, whatever. Nicopolis, yep. The government collapses. Oh, because I all walked out. Okay, <laughs> sure. Nicopolis is now... Oh, because the government collapsed, it's now fine. Everyone's just starving. How do I get more... Is there a building to get more food tiles? Okay, so Suma was left empty. So the Indians just took it. <laughs> <laughs> this Bremen city is still revolting, which is insane. Um, let 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 us wait. We're now under anarchy. Is are there combat penalties? Um, um, miscellaneous anarchy. What happens? Squares producing three or more of any commodity of production reduced by one. For example, square, uh, units up to city size do not require maintenance. Military units in a city decreases unhappiness. No taxes collected and knowledge accumulated. Okay, so there's no, there's no um, what 
uh, military penalty. If I switch to communism, what happens? Normal economic effects, units require one resource but tend to maintain. Military units and city decrease unhappiness. Corruption equal in all cities. Okay. That might work for wartime. Democracy for peacetime. There's no walls here. This is three knights. We should be able to do this question mark attack. Break treaty. Is this our foreign minister during anarchy? <laughs> why, why is this our foreign minister during anarchy? <laughs> uh, break treaty. Babylonians cancel peace treaty with Romans. No, no, I cancel peace treaty with the Babylonians. Um, this is a settler? Oh yeah, this is a settler. Right, I wanted to go build an irrigation. Right, you are irrigating right there. I got a city. Romans plunder, or captured Eridu. Three gold pieces plunder. Oh, look at my musket men! Oh, it's not spearmen anymore. Musket man. Check all your advisors. Good point. Um, also here. Um, yeah, this is all just bad idea. Uh, just start on city walls. This is a terrible city. Um, advisors. How do I look at all my advisors? How do you even see your advisors? The, the picture. Oh, the military advisor under anarchy. <laughs> of course. Um, how about the intelligent advisor? No picture there. Okay. Attitude advisor? No. How come they don't all have portraits? How do we see all our science advisor? Only some have, have portraits. Okay. I, uh, I can't take Sumer because it's not actually owned by the Babylonians right now. But I could maybe take uh, Bremen. You change to training a musketeer, please. Wake up this musketeer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Eridu at least is a nice roadblock, so units can't just waltz in. I will send these two... Wait, what do I have up here? I have a knight here as well. Okay. Let's activate that knight. So I'll have three knights to attack. I'll bring this phalanx back. No, I don't want to talk to you. Okay, you are training a new musketman. But you will... Head over there. We'll start finally scouting our coast. That ship's just gonna float around there. Wealthiest civilization, still mediocre, no big deal. Order restored in Rome. Look at my domestic advisor! <laughs> Okay, so communism, I guess. Military units make people happy. Oh, look at our new cabinet. <laughs> These two guys are exactly the same person. They're just like, no, no, no. Look, I'm I'm the defense minister, but I, I'm the, the science advisor as well. No, we're totally different people. You see, one of us, one of us wears a hat and the other one of us wears medals, okay? We are very different people. Don't don't worry that you've never seen us in the same room together. We're, we're very different people, okay? These two people also. Domestic advisor, foreign minister. Same person. <laughs> it's the same person. No, no, no. I put on some lipstick. I'm clearly the, the domestic advisor today. Can you not see? It, it is the other, the other guy wears the glasses. I wear the lipstick. How, how can you be confused? Our cabinet is only two people. <laughs> okay, I'm walking over to Bremen. You are going to... Oh, I can't do that. Okay. You are going to wake up. Because you are going to walk back in. I'll just fortify you. We trained another musketman here. Uh, this place doesn't have a granary? Jeez, fortify there. You're getting into... No, wrong way. I'm sending the knight up. That's my bad. You are getting into Eridu. Okay, not so claustrophobic anymore. That's road there. So I was going to build a coastal city up there, but there's just like... 
pirates or whatever. They're not barbarians, they're another civilization. But Eridu is now defended. Does Eridu have any tiles to work? Not really. It's kind of a cramped place. So this Byzantium, yeah, so we're going to bring you back in. So there's a second unit to defend. I'm going to bring you up. Do sailboats sink? How do I... Military units. Sail. Just a sail. Sail. Military unit. Okay. Uh, sailing ships may carry up to three other units and are made obsolete by frigates. It doesn't really say. Because triremes do sink. Trireme. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It doesn't even say. The Civilopedia in Civ 1 is just so... Only trireme sink? So I can do this? Okay. Hopefully that's fine. Okay, so we're now... Walking up, you're fortifying there. You're waiting a turn. Let's keep improving tiles. Oh! Oh, I see. Oh, I see. They've been there a while. That city is size 5. Oh, good. The Indians are helping me out. Rome builds caravan. Okay. Oh, the trireme did say maybe lost at sea. Oh, okay. So I built this caravan. Sure. We don't have a library in Rome. Okay, let's build a library in Rome. So, <laughs> Leipzig builds marketplace, very good. So for the caravan, should I send it to the furthest possible city or just the next door city? Like what's, what's the best plan for a caravan? Like what do you do with the caravan? When sieves get destroyed, their counterpart with the same color respawn. Far is more valuable. Okay. So I do know they do respawn. It's just... I'm not sure how that's determined. Okay, so now I've got this clear path. i got to now bring irrigation down. I can't irrigate this tile. No. i got to irrigate the tile up north first. Okay, we're waking you up. But we got to wait one turn for us to combine our attacking efforts. Okay, you are just irrig gonna irrigate there. Can I? Okay. Oh, England's pretty small on this map. Okay, so I want to send this caravan to like Byzantium, right? That kind of feels right. Because I, I assume Foreign is also better? Huh. But like, I'm at war with Babylon. I mean, Sumer is a foreign city right here. So which is better? Sumer, which is closer, or Byzantium, which is further? Hmm. Hmm. Also, I failed to check my trade advisor. I am currently losing a lot of money right now. Up to 80%, I think. 56, 52, okay. Yeah, Babylon will just kill my caravan. I guess I'll just send it to Byzantium, right? Ugh. This, they, they got so many units. London! Oh! Okay, a catapult helped attack there. Hopefully I can get it. Byzantium builds barracks. Very nice. Uh, so this is where I wanted to get a musketeer. So China was pink, I'm assuming. And they respawned London. Or respawned on this island. Like right next to me. <laughs> 
Okay, so a catapult just hit it. Hopefully the catapult actually won. So I'm now going to attack Bremen. I don't know how this is going to go. Easily. I took Bremen. I've been trying to take this city for a long time. It's been a thorn in my side. Now I can stop worrying about all that deer. <laughs> right, I can decide which city gets that deer. Um, what do I want to train here? Uh, just city walls. Yeah, work on that. Indians want to speak with me. Um, no, I don't really want to speak with... Uh, maybe... Okay, sure. That, what do you want, Gandhi? M. Gandhi of the Indians. A hundred in tribute? No, empty threats. Go away. War? Okay, fine. Um, which means... Get wrecked. <laughs> which means Sumer is up for the grabs. Um, what can I do here to make this work in my favor? What's Eridu doing? Okay, Hamburg. Nicopolis. Can I... Can I? I can put one of these back down. Okay, let's do that. Um, I want to activate this unit. Uh, also, neither of these units belong to Eridu, which is something that I should not set right now. Okay. Bremen, I need to protect because India tends to come from there. I'll leave you there. Uh, did I activate this? Yes, I did activate that. You are going to start ir You can't irrigate that terrain type? Ah, <laughs> you guys saw that coming. Um, then I have to bring... Uh, this, is, this is such a pain. Uh, fine. Okay, meanwhile, this... Okay, you can improve that tile. Uh, with some luck, I could take Sumer. Okay, let's just explore the British Isles. Save game. 1750 AD, huh? Water restored in Bremen. Irrigate that tile. Um, so what am I actually doing here? Let's activate... Wait, that's already here. Let's activate that unit. Getting a granary there. Getting a library there, okay. This knight might just immediately die. Yep. That's what I thought. <laughs> Let's reinforce that city. <laughs> You're heading to Byzantium. You are just fortifying right there because all sorts of things will be coming. I'll build roads on the way down here. So all of England is right there. If I destroy London or capture London, the English civilization just dies. Here we do. Okay. Uh, I think I will super reinforce that. Okay. How much is it to 216? Can you sell buildings? Can you sell buildings in this game? No, right? I'm thinking no. I should try attack that though. What's the attack power of the red dot? Okay, wait, hold on. If I want to buy this, 216. I can? Okay. Uh, Hamburg. Can I sell the marketplace? How much would I get? 80? Oh. Uh, is that what I want to do? 
Sell the barracks for 40. So. We lost all those barracks from getting that tech, right? But it didn't sell it for us. We didn't get the money. They're worth 40 each. Sell the barracks. Okay. Byzantium. We're training a unit there. Leipzig. Sell the barracks. Yes. That's 214. Is that enough to buy? Ah, 16. Okay. Uh, Nicopolis. Caesarea. I have one more barracks for sale. Bremen. It's a granary. Hamburg. I want to sell these other things because they're kind of useful. I think I do have barracks in Rome. I do have barracks in Rome. Sure. Let's just sell that. Okay, that allows me to buy city walls. And then I will try attack this, which may or may... N oh, there's a knight there. And that's a forest tile, isn't... No, I just... <sighs> right click is used to um, check a tile, right? It's used to check a tile. Fortify. Don't know what I can do to... I could activate a soldier there and maybe bring it over. There's not much I can do, is there? Uh, just, we're just gonna have to see how it goes. Okay, explore this. T, I think, is terrain. Um, well, that didn't work so well. I do build city walls. Okay, well, now what? Musketeers? <laughs> um, how do I kill this catapult? So I can get... So Eridu might just die here. You're still walking up to Byzantium. There's a small chance I can attack this catapult and win. Probably not, though. Eridu won't die now that it has walls. Can send another musketeer over. Just see how it goes, I guess. Oh, we won that one. <sighs> okay. So, Bremen. It's another one where I would love walls. Should I ride out and kill these guys? I think I should ride out and kill these guys. You wake up. See how that goes. Alright, so this is just going to reinforce Eridu. Yeah, you fortify there. So these units, I should ride out to hit them. Okay, that at least worked. Okay. <laughs> so then we wait right there. This caravan continues to Byzantium. Road right there. You're going to continue down. Just exploring the ocean now around our... well, around Europe. Okay, that's not so good. You trained one of those. Okay. Um, let's train another one. Okay, I want to kill that. And maybe kill that. Okay. That worked. Caravan almost there. You are fortifying there.
Oh, the Egyptians are attacking the Babylonians as well. That's good. The more they fight each other, the less they fight me. So hopefully Babylon just goes away. Uh, you are going to jump into there. And how long for these city walls? 25 turns. 198 to buy it. Okay, you wait right there. Establish trade route. Silver caravan arrives from Rome. From Rome arrives in Byzantium. Trade route established. Revenue three. <laughs> I don't don't know. Oh, it creates one unit of trade per turn. That's actually pretty good, I guess. Right? That, that's actually really good. Um, this settler, I guess, just. Okay, good. That's nice to see. That's nice to see. Have I ever gotten the Roma Easter egg bonus? I don't know what that is. Civil disorder in Nicopolis. Sure. Okay. Um, it's because there's not enough military units here. I see. Uh, so do that for a little bit. Okay, these units are slowly approaching us. Cesaria builds library. Okay, um, get a marketplace. So I would like to take Sumer if that's at all possible. Would that be possible? I'd need a lot of units. Uh, maybe not a lot of units. Okay, you are fortifying there. Now we have to get an irrigation from here, I think. Okay, good. Mm, kind of wanted a road there. Need siege stuff for Sumer. Well, there's no there's no walls at Sumer. So it's not so bad. Okay, Rome. Wait, no, this is not Rome. This is Hamburg. Uh... Okay, let's start getting some knights. If I can take Sumer... Good. Wait right there. Road right there. All right. England's just gonna sit right there. Nice. Musketeers doing their job. Rome builds library. Finally, our capital. <laughs> we built pyramids, a great library, and so much more, but sure. Let's um, get some knights. Because if I can get Sumer, that's just a wonderful plug on the land. Leipzig builds library. Very good. Very nice. Uh, it doesn't help right now, but it will help when we get... Uh, switch back to democracy. Let's get some knights going. Population of the fertile Roman Empire exceeds 3 million people. I trained another unit here. Um, so hold on. This... No units are currently supported here. I want to bring this one up as well. Uh, you, home city, wait. You, home city, fortify. You, irrigate. You, continue to explore. Romans acquire the Republic from the Great Library. Fantastic. Great Library is so, so good. Um, Civ 1, Civ 2, Great Library. It's like goated. You wait right there. 
Hopefully they keep churning those vulnerable units at me. Barbarian raiding party lands near Byzantium. Citizens are alarmed. Up there? Okay. What is that ship? It looks so scary. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this and then fortify there. Doesn't seem like anyone else is approaching. Let's fortify. Hopefully they just declare peace soon. Oh, there goes my ship. More barbarians, jeez. So many barbarians. Okay, uh, what's Eridu doing? This, yeah. So I'd like to take Sumer and then go back to democracy. That would be nice for us to do, if at all possible. Right? Right. Also, I do need a road system connecting these cities up. Hmm. What are you doing? Right. Uh, you're gonna need an aqueduct. Fortify. You thought Nuclear Gandhi was a Civ 2 bug? Well... I don't know whether it's a bug or it's just confirmation bias or what. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Okay, what do I want? This place... Colosseum could be handy. Fortify. I feel pretty fortified. Eridu. No. Who's using this horse tile? Wait. Hamburg is. Okay. I should... Yeah, just road up a little bit. Because we haven't really connected the northern cities to the southern cities. Okay, that's lucky. Road. Okay, we're starting to get some military units here. Let's not overdo it from a single city. Build a Colosseum, I guess. Road. Okay. There's one from Rome. Get yourself a musketeer. Treat yourself. Okay. It's a bit hard to attack Sumer because it is like wedged in there. I don't have... Okay. Irrigate that. Um... Because I don't know if I want to, like, send some units around. Oh, we got a unit from here as well. Okay, you train a musketeer. Okay. That's fine. Emissary from the Indians? No, no, I'm about to take Sumer. Go away. I just need to be careful about my positioning here. So you... Go down? Oh, you can't go down. Oh, I see. Can I go left and then down right? I can. So we can do that. You can irrigate horses, right? That's fine. I think that's fine. If I can just... Ooh, that's, that's a good one to kill. Oh, spontaneous. Palace improvement. Can four go higher? Four goes higher. Oh, yes. Just, just get me the flags on the glass. You can't make a horse drink, but you can irrigate it. <laughs> yes, that is true. Okay. I think you're active as well, right? We can attack Sumer. Let's see what happens. We lost. We won. We won. Can I finally take Sumer and maybe hold it? Oh, oh okay, that's... I have to deal with that. Um, can I buy this? Yes. 
Let's activate you. Uh, you're building road. I want to kill you and attack you. Ah, I lost. It's fine. Oh, you reinforced. I destroyed Sumer. Fine. I don't know how Indian soldiers got more stuff in there, but it's good that they're gone. I'm just gonna have a quick look. There's no things there. Okay, good. We've got a musketeer here. Let's go and... This city here should block everything. Rome, got some musketeer. Good. Get a cathedral. What to buy? Okay, so I've now cleared Europe. Indians want to speak with me. Sure. Now that I destroyed a city, what do you want to say? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, I'm not giving you stuff. Peace treaty? Accept. Very good. We welcome peace. So now I just need to withdraw all my troops. Bremen build city walls, yes, go away! Oh, that tile's being taken. That's annoying. Okay, now that we got city walls here, we should get all the other things. Courthouse would be good. There'll be a lot of corruption here. So, in this case, I will want to pull back to Eridu. And I'd like to build a city to plug this gap as well, if it's possible. Okay. Uh, so I can't irrigate diagonals, so I have to now irrigate that tile. You are going to irrigate that tile. You are going to fortify in Eridu. Maybe this is a bit much. Let's not fortify you in Eridu. We'll send you to maybe Hilltop City right here. Indians want to talk to me? What do you want now? We just declared peace. No, I'm not giving you money. Back to war? Oh, fine. <laughs> okay. So, I know this is cramped, but just... Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, just to... Secure our borders. I want a city there. Now you can go and build a... Library. Fortify. Okay. Phalanx 1, Frigate 0. <laughs> yeah, how does that work? So we're walking over there. You are waiting right there. If I build a city on a hill, the city does have better defense. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. That's so much stuff. I guess we're not building a city there. <laughs> um, you wait right there, I guess. See if they can bust through. Sitting on that hill. Ooh, already value. You just irrigate there, I guess. Hills are overpowered. Hill hills are like invincibility. <laughs> hills are like invincibility. Wow, did you see that? Ah, huh. build yourself an aqueduct. You'll need it eventually. Okay, so um, what I'll do is I'll activate this. Change this to musketeer again. Okay. Wake you up. We're going to build a city on that hill. You continue up. You wait a turn. You're coming down as well. 
Oh. Okay, good. We can kill that catapult. We discovered university, finally. I'd like to go back to democracy soon. That'd be very good. We can build the university improvement. University cancels the effect of great library. No problem. Let's go banking because that's what we're going for next. I need to make sure we wake up that person. We're going to build a city on this hill. You're going to irrigate there. You're going to road there. You're going to kill that catapult. Refortify. You're going to wait one more turn. You are going to wait one more turn. Okay. Some fighting around London, sure. Leipzig gets a Colosseum. Keeps people happy. Let's now... Yeah, everyone's gonna need aqueducts. Okay, you are going to build a city right here. Brundisium. Sure. Brundisium founded 1802 AD. We're getting pretty close to the modern era here. Oh, it's just a tiny little town. Uh, you are immediately going to start building city walls. I'm gonna wake you up. We need all of you in there. You need to change to library. Fortify. So are all our military units now in cities? Yes. So let's go back to revolution. We need a new government. We're going back to democracy. They may, uh, enemies may declare war on us, but I have no plans for world domination at this point. I just want to... Sarah builds marketplace. I want to go back to being rich and smart. <laughs> um, build a marketplace. Very good. Um... Build a courthouse. There's some corruption going on there. Carthage builds city walls. We built great walls here. Look at that giant wall on the left. <laughs> we only just got normal walls. So finally. Um, let's get a library, I guess. Let's go to democratic. Ah, Back to a... Democratic government. If I check my trade advisor, we're now making 184, total cost 68. All right, let's go to our tax rates. 30%? Let me check that. Trade 70, 68. Okay. Uh, oh, tech every five turns. Nice. Uh, we don't have to do that yet. How much to buy city walls? Oh, just. Yeah, just buy it immediately. I want this Brundisium to be just fortified. I don't want anyone coming up from the south ever again. Funds winning, though, that's fine. Civil disorder in Rome. Oh, look at the protesters! They're like... They're wearing leather jackets with picket signs. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! We've got modern protesters! <laughs> so, Rome is very unhappy because... Wait, why are these... Oh, it's because they're just not in their home city? And is this giving us two trade now? Oh, right, because democracy. Wait, okay, so... How do I... So, it's yeah, it's because these... Nicopolis, because these units are not in their home city. Caesarea. Is that our trade? Wow, it's just a black line! <laughs> okay, wait. Um, cathedral. There's like no production here. It's so insane. Um, we need a cathedral here, though. I know I can home them in other cities, it's just doing that will... Yeah, I, I need to start getting cathedrals everywhere. All these... Hamburg, okay. I need to find some ham... Bremen, yep. Why are you unhappy? 
Cathedral. No, Colosseum is faster. But for now, we have to do that. Oh, there's a prediction on whether I'll win this game or not. Brandisium builds city walls. Very good. So, yeah, these units in Brandisium. The problem is military units cost a shield. So if I support these here, it'll never build anything. I guess that's fine. We don't actually have to build anything, do we? We've got city walls. This is this is just a blocking city. Like eventually build a granary. Uh, you don't think cathedrals help with war unhappiness? Um, it, it's not war unhappiness. It's just these units are not in their home city, so it makes an unhappy person. Uh, so I just need to set this to home city, fortify, home city, fortify, home city, fortify. And see, the problem with doing that is now that city has, we'll send them back and then what? We'll just die. <laughs> you can't just send them back. Ugh, the government collapses because it's democracy. Brundisium can't support units. Oh, yeah, see, that happens. Back to democratic, please. So, because it can't support, a unit just disappears, right? So, I now have to disband this unit, I guess. To make sure I keep the, mus the, the musketmen. Civil disorder in Rome. Okay. Government collapses immediately? Like, I had no time. What? How much to buy this? Because uh, I'm losing money during this anarchy. Advisors, trade advisors. How much money am I losing? Tons. Tax rate 80%. Still not enough. Tax rate 90%. Okay, that breaks even. Um, yeah, pop a road there. Whatever sudden Rome. So, I'll go to back to democracy. So, what is this unit? Where is this unit? There's a Roman phalanx somewhere. Caesarea, Carthage, Nicopolis. There, you. Wake up. I can just disband you. We don't need so many units there. Hopefully that holds. Nicopolis. Okay. Nicopolis is so unhappy because there's, again, there's a phalanx somewhere else. There's a Nicopolis phalanx somewhere. I need to find it. Hamburg. There's a Hamburg musketman somewhere. I have to find those. Okay. Bre bre biz. Um, so I should... Yeah, I can afford to do it here. Uh... Biz, biz, biz. Lay, lay, lay. Ham, ham. Ham, Nick, Airy. Okay. You and you need to be supported from here. Because that's the Nicopolis problem and the Hamburg problem. Right? Yes. Okay, you are going up there and irrigating that. You need to build a road there. You are supporting from here, home city, fortify. You are supporting from here. I'm doing it manually just to make sure it is actually working. Fortify. Okay. That should solve a lot of the unhappiness. Wealthiest. Still mediocre, sure. Still? 
It's just... Uh, order a sword in Hamburg. Eridu builds granary. Very nice. Good for you. Nicopolis. Democratic. I just want a stable democratic government. Is that too hard to ask? Why are you so unhappy? It's just too many people, I think. Complete the Colosseum. Okay. Road there. That should stabilize all my cities. I think. I can't believe they won. Uh, Nicopolis builds Colosseum and I hired an entertainer. Order restored in Nicopolis. Okay, good. Yeah, that's great. Now, aqueduct, because you need to grow. Bremen still has some defenses. How long until the Colosseum is done? Four turns. Yeah, finish it. Okay. I'm getting quite a lot of money now. Which allows me to buy some happiness things immediately. And I'll switch back to science soon. Yeah, this place needs a lot. Okay. So I'm just gonna make some money to buy some happiness stuff. I will fix the tax rate, don't worry. I'm leaving it high taxes on purpose right now. Rome builds cathedral. Very good. Rome's looking real nice. Now a university, please. Bremen builds Colosseum. Very good. Um... Marketplace. I do see some... That knight there. Yeah, a bit annoying, but sure. Uh, Nicopolis is happy. I have 206. Caesarea really needs this cathedral. Let me just irrigate there. Egyptians? Oh, the Egyptians have met us! Hello! Who? Oh. Ramses, ruler and president of the Egyptians. Make peace? Accept. A treaty of eternal friendship. We welcome peace with the Egyptians. <laughs> Okay, now leave me alone. They're so behind in tech. Yeah, they're still in the ancient era somehow. Indians, yes. What do you want? Uh-huh. No, I'm not paying you any money. We're already at war. Yes. Go away. <laughs> That's fine. Byzantium builds aqueduct. Very nice. Um... I think we just start dumping cathedrals whenever we can see them, right? Okay, so Caesarea needs to buy this to get people happy. And then I can raise my, uh, lower my tax rates. Was it 30%? 65, 84, oh, not that low. Uh, 40%. 85, 84, discovery is seven turns. Looks good. Okay, we've got two nicely placed cities. I would have preferred Sumer, but Eridu will do. Wonderful. And that means we can return workers. Look how much trade there is here. You can't even see how much there is. Build a university. <laughs> That's so insane. Four million citizens in the Roman Empire. Okay, um, we also need to clear another forest tile there. Are the Egyptians going to attack us? They might. Are the Indians going to leave us alone? Maybe. 
Uh, Nicopolis uh, yeah, is building an aqueduct. Eridu has plenty of defense, so it's doing okay. We need to get rid of that tile. We're finally connecting a road up to the northern city so we can get things running around better. Banking, very good. Uh, we could build the bank improvement. Let's get theory of gravity. That seems important. Leipzig builds aqueduct. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I should just get cathedrals everywhere because as soon as people get unhappy, a government collapses. Hamburger. Hmm. Federico Ufuentes 4. Thank you so much for the resub. That's very kind of you. Hamburg. Hmm. Just for now. Okay. I'm pretty happy with the layout of my empire, right? I'm I'm pretty happy with all of this. I think if we just keep going. Funds are running low. Are we actually losing money? Ooh. Is the the center is done. Look at that. I think next I want to finish is the road. Right? Let's do B. Oh, nice little cobblestone. Order restored in Hamburg. Get some luxuries. Well, luxuries would be like a whole 10% deduction when it's only a city here and there that needs help, you know? Wait, there's already a granary here. Why is this building a granary? This should be building something else. Like a temple. Make sure people don't get unhappy there. Okay, um, then you are going to connect up the cities here. Is that Indian horseman going to attack us? Yep, okay, go away. Oh, they're coming in with another attack force. Bremen does have a knight? It does. But I feel like we should have another musketeer here. Just for safety. Road. Okay. Now our northern cities are correct. Yeah, you upgrade the palace over time. It's just sort of... I don't know how it determines it, whether it's kind of random. Okay, let's wake up the knight. You are fortifying. You are getting rid of the catapults. <laughs> That's why you don't approach catapults like that. Mm, Brandisium. Carthage builds a library. Good. Uh, let's build a Colosseum. Yep. Eridu builds temple. Very good. Is it pop milestones? It might be pop milestones. Uh, here, let us build a marketplace. Brandisium. Hmm. Needs another musketeer. It'd be fast if I sent a musketeer from somewhere else. Yeah, so Brandisium should just continue the granary. Yeah, it's really slow, but sure. Um. Sending out this guy will make people unhappy. So I'll check that a bit later. We gotta irrigate there. You're refortifying. So let's preemptively do that. Hopefully that catapult does not destroy us. We've got city walls on a hill. Okay. 
That's good. Theory of gravity. We're speeding through text at this. Mm, atomic theory. Isaac Newton's college wonder. I gotta check. Atomic theory? Chemistry? Metallurgy? Atomic theory! <laughs> okay. We're actually doing okay there. So I'm gonna send you into Brundisium. And I need to set that as the home city. Oh, we're actually losing money, I think. Yeah, we're losing one a turn. Hamburg? Hmm. A bit vulnerable. I think instead of a cathedral, I'll just... I know it's a waste. Uh, it's such a waste. But I kind of need it with that knight now there. Okay, I also do need money. So let's... Let's get tons of money. Fortify. Just micro the tax rate a little bit. Okay, that horseman stayed there, which is good. London is being invaded by barbarians. Um, Hamburg, complete the cathedral, please. And I'll keep lots of money coming, because I need musketeers in Hamburg. I'll get atomic theory later. Oh, I should check. Was it the, um, the college, right? Uh, Hamburg builds cathedral. Good, stay happy. Now change to musketeer. How much to buy? Okay, next turn. Um, the monument was Isaac Newton's college. What does that do exactly? City improvements, Isaac Newton's college, increases the benefit of libraries, universities, until the development of nuclear fission. So I should build it in my highest science city, which I think is Caesarea. Yes, it'll be... I think it's Caesarea. Yeah, it's Caesarea. So this should actually be... Hmm. I'd need to dump a lot of money if I want to <laughs> build in Caesarea. Maybe it's just better if I build it in Rome, right? Because I can't build it in Caesarea. So I think I'll do it in Rome. Is that a... Indian settler. Okay, complete that. Uh, Rome. Oh, Rome. Complete that. Yes. And then I can set my tax rate back to 40%, I think it was. No, it's got to be a bit better. 50%. Okay. Trade advisor... Yeah, that's turning a profit. And then we'll go back to learning atomic theory. Road. Um, do I need to do anything here? I want to... Did I train another unit here? I did. You go for... Marketplace. Wait, no, there's not even a temple here. Build a temple. Good. Fortify. Okay. I think... Did I lose London to the Barbarians? Now, I'm pretty sure that London's still London. Rome builds university. And then you can build Isaac Newton's college. Yeah, yeah London's still London. Don't worry. Uh... You and I, oh, that, I misclicked. That's my bad. Hamburg trained another one of these. Good. Um, you know what? Get another one to replace that phalanx. The phalanxes are starting to feel very... Oh, right. I can reassign the entertainers. Okay, save the game. It's 1850. Um, I did have entertainers somewhere. Was it Nicopolis? No, it wasn't Nicopolis. Um, yeah, get a cathedral. I had entertainers somewhere. Where was it? Hamburg? Oh, it was, right. 
there we go. <laughs> it's just having all those entertainers for no reason. Okay. So now you, I wanted to irrigate there. And you'll just speed up that irrigation. Indians. Yes. Do you want to undeclare war? Oh, look at their backgrounds. <laughs> look at this. Okay. President M. Gandhi. I laugh at your threats. But you want to declare peace? Accept. Welcome to friendship. Now go away. How about you just leave me alone? There's a discovery you can make. Leaving me alone. <laughs> Allows nuclear fission. Nuclear fission. Uh, steam engine magnetism. Steam engine sounds cool. Irrigate there. Okay, get that tile irrigated. Finally, we can get that city growing properly. Byzantium builds cathedral. Fantastic. And then... Banks, university, all of that. So, how much would it be to just buy this? 1,400 at this point? Okay. Ah, oh, okay. So, are we actually at war with anyone right now? Um, is it intelligence peace? Peace. Egyptians and Indians peace. No embassy established. It's probably worth getting diplomats to actually establish embassies, huh? I should probably do that. Oh, democracies are forced to offer peace. Right, so as everyone switches to democracy, people should start declaring peace. Right. Okay, perfect. So as long as they're democratic, we'll be good to go. Okay, so now you are changing to aqueduct. And I'm going to get rid of this phalanx. You are fortifying. You are disbanding. Egyptians. What do you want? I mean, they're still in the ancient era. Ramses. Are they just saying hi? <laughs> That's a bit weird. You've already said hi. But sure. Um, let's develop that tile. Peace on everyone is UN. Hmm. Bremen builds temple. They want to make sure you're still friendly. Hey, we're, we're still friends, right? Yes, we're still friends. Oh, I got these. Bremen also had entertainers. Okay, let's switch to aqueduct. UN is modern Great Wall. Okay, so it works like the Great Wall, right? Here, do builds marketplace. Um. Get a library, marketplace, library, temple, all the basics. Largest civilization. It's me! I'm the largest civilization. <laughs> and I, oh, I mean, I'm speeding through the text now. Look at that. We've got steam engine. Mm, ironclad unit. Oh, I remember ironclads just dominating. Let's get uh, chemistry. Seems good. And I'm feeling pretty good with like all the terrain improvements. We're, we're sort of getting there. Leipzig builds cathedral. Mm. We should start getting universities. Eridu. Okay. Hmm. Colosseum. Can I buy it? I can. Just temporarily do that. Okay. Lyra Linda, thank you so much for joining. To celebrate, we've got five million citizens just for you. <laughs> now, um, there is a space victory on this, right? I tend to like going for space victories. If I rush for space victory, I could probably win the game, right? Eridu builds Colosseum. Fantastic. 
whatever stored in Eridu, we can return resources. Good. Um, aqueduct. Speed that up. Good. Oh, go make peace with Liz. <laughs> London's just like a stagnant city. Oh, okay. Uh, we can improve the road again. Let's go. I'm just trying to see all the different variants here. Oh, a nice little stone road now. Okay. Because, like, I'm not sure... I'm not sure um, how Space Victory even works in this game. <laughs> Carthage builds Colosseum. Fantastic. Um, what are we doing here? This place is not really growing. Um, what do you even have? Eh, not great. I should probably just get some musketeers to replace those phalanxes in case there's like suddenly a naval invasion or something. What is this city? What is this? What is this? I... Mm, I hate it so much. I hate how the AI in this game does that. There's like n almost no minimum distance to settling cities. We discovered chemistry. We're getting these so fast. Allows refining and explosives. Railroad. Ooh. Let's get magnetism. If we're going to space, we probably should understand magnets. Um, in terms of controlling this city... I just need to... Hmm. If I wake you up, just temporarily do that. We could develop Bremen a bit, but... Uh, cancel action. Cancel action. Uh, they've built... Oh, because we're at peace, I can't steal the resources from them, can I? Uh, fine. Just wait right there, see if I can do anything about that. I want to take that deer, that's why. <laughs> fine, wait right there. Railroads are pretty broken in Civ 1 since they allow moving for free. Do they work like in Civ 2? Got a bank. In Byzantium. Let's uh, build the university. So, Rome, how much to buy this? 940. Okay, it's getting there. They're irrigating the horse. Okay. But they also increase production on the tile. Oh, so railroads increase production on tiles? I could do with some production. Right? We don't we didn't haven't really had a, a production building. Grab a Colosseum. Okay, this is good. Let's wake uh, you up. Fortify. Disband. Just in case some barbarians show up on the coast or something. Nicopolis. Okay, okay. I can, I can deal with that. Uh, buy that cathedral. Make people happy a little bit. I don't want our government collapsing. We, we've got a good run here. Magnetism. How do they work? Apparently that's how. The force of attraction or repulsion between various substances, especially iron, is due to the motion of electric chemical charges known as magnetism. A magnetic object normally has two poles, the north seeking pole and the south seeking pole, named because of a free, freely floating magnet oriented itself in the Earth's magnetic field along with the south south north south axis. Magnetism may have, have been discovered in China, but its important application to the mariner's compass occurred in 12th century Europe. Later work with magnetism as important in the discovery of physics and electricity. Frigate unit. <laughs> 
Let's get Railroad and see what it does. Waiting right there, just seeing if I can do anything. Nicopolis builds a cathedral, order re restored. Good. Um, library. Like, how fast are we getting techs? It feels very fast. Seven turns? It feels faster than seven turns. Seven turns is actually, like, going by really fast. I guess it's because we're, we're not at war anymore. Okay, so that's good. So I can't go there. Cancel action. Um, I guess there? We can use that tile. Ooh. Is the road done? The road is done. So I think we've explored quite a bit here. I guess we start expanding our palace to the left. Let's, um... Let's mix it up. Let's do this one first. <laughs> our palace is magnificent! Wonderful. It's been lopsided the whole game. Intentionally, of course. Okay, that city is somehow growing. Eridu builds aqueduct. Fantastic. The cities are looking so nicely modern now. Um, let us get... Yeah, just popping cathedrals everywhere just stops things from... Oh, I can't take it. Fine. Okay, go back in. You're waking up. So, hold on. Uh, Bremen. Get your resources back. You are fortifying. You are disbanding. Oh, I forgot to change its production. We discovered railroad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Darwin's voyage. Industrialization, metallurgy, explosives. Explosive sounds like it leads to space. Leipzig builds university. Very good. Oh, everything. Everything's just Darwin's voyage. What does that do? I need to see. Um, bank. Let me double check what Darwin's Voyage actually does, but also Carthage, stop training a unit and instead um, build a bank. Civilopedia. Um, it's a city improvement. Darwin's Voyage. What does it do? Two immediate civilization advances. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh... Where has good production? I don't... I, sh I should have a... City status? Oh, um, highest production is Leipzig? Leipzig is... Here? Oh, but it has a lot of units being supported. But I guess that works, right? Uh, Darwin's Voyage, but I disband a unit. Uh, you refortify. So if I disband you, Leipzig can build Darwin's Voyage. Bremen builds Aqueduct. Fantastic. Um, cathedral. Like, two free techs just really blast us through. So this is now saying 29 turns. Okay. Rome. How long for this? 544 now. Good. I feel like I, I kind of want to just... really minimize what I'm doing. So this... Is this from... This is from Nicopolis. Okay, so... I will send this down to develop Hamburg a little bit. Mm 
right? And the other settler I can probably disband. Okay, you get a library. So this is Leipzig. If I just disband. Keep them for rails. All right. Ah, it's fine. Whatever. I can always train more. So this is now going 21 turns. Look at that. All right. I do have rails, don't I? So I should just test this. Hold on. Byzantium. This tile is doing one shield. Right? So if I go up here, I guess it's R again, right? Um, build a railroad. Yeah. Build a railroad there. See what happens. I, I want to see what happens. Because the effect of that really will change my choices. <laughs> uh, university. Six million citizens. 474. We are still making money, right? Mm -hmm. Explosives! Thank you, Sid. And just more text. Yes. Uh, conscription, industrialization. Let's get industrialization to make sure we're fully in the industrial era. <laughs> How much is that? I don't know. Um, there's just no production here. Um, like, it would make sense to actually, like, just full-on buy these things. Because we would make so much money back from doing that. But I want to see what the railroad does. Because right now, Caesarea needs... ...production. Is this... I don't know if that's... How do you tell when the railroad's done? I don't know what railroads look like in this game. Byzantium builds university. Very nice. Uh, right, I wanted to get diplomats. Right, let's get some diplomats out there. Maybe we can get some... So I built a railroad there, right? Yes. It didn't add another production. Right? It doesn't seem like it adds... Uh, it's not city improvements. What would it be under? Uh, terrain types? No. Miscellaneous. Railroads. Built by settlers only and only in squares that already contain a road. Uh -huh. Units moving from one railroad to another. Uh, rather strange roads. Increase food and resource production in a map square by half rounded down. They increase trade by the same amount, but before the effects of Republic of Denmark. They increase the production of a map square by half. So it increases all the resources by half, but if it's just one, then it just stays one. But when it, this was like three, so it became four food instead. So, if I were to... hold on. Um, so, Railroad will not increase production in Caesarea. But what I can test is I have this tile here. Three food, two shield. If I go there and build a Railroad, let's find out. Railroading forests and mines will give you more. Right, okay. Uh, let's expand left. Mix it with... This. <laughs> really throw it off. Wonderful. Now, do settlers have... There's no automated settlers, is there? Can settlers be automated in this game? Because that will save me a lot of difficulty. Industrialization, very good. 
Uh, transport unit. Factory improvement. Oh, there we go. Factory improvement. That might be what we want. Communism, the corporation, conscription. The corporation. I know conscription gets us the nicer unit, but we're not planning to go to war right now. So, factory? How much is... What What does the factory do? Uh, city improvements. Factory. Uh, factory. Uh, production is increased by 50%. Okay, so that should just be everywhere, right? How much is this? Yeah, we desperately need production here. <laughs> um, yes, good. Can I afford this? Almost, actually. Okay, good. The problem with Caesarea is that it's not near any production stuff it's the reason why it doesn't have production is the reason why its trade is so high okay that does help what does women's suffrage do let's find out um meanwhile you build a bank hamburg builds library very good even these smaller cities are well they're not even small cities anymore um, so we want factories everywhere, right? Byzantium builds diplomat because more factories means more everything. Eridu. Complete that. Thank you. Okay. So diplomat. Do diplomats need to go into capitals, or can they just go into... Um, ...any city? Let's send it to Babylon. Find out what happens. Any city? Okay. Emissary from the Indians. What do you want? Mm-hmm. I'm not giving you explosives. War. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, whatever. <laughs> See, it, it's definitely for the most part Gandhi that's declaring war, right? Kill their city. Oh, right. That's that's a good point. I could kill their city. So I want factories everywhere because it just speeds up everything. Um, what have I got going here? I can activate you. Activate you. You are going to avoid. Oh, they got muskets. That makes it difficult. Ah, fine. And it's not even the bug's fault, right? It's just, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's... No, I mean, most people would play on random start locations, right? Uh, here they come again. The corporation stonks. <laughs> Sounds like you need cannon. Yeah. Uh, communism, genetic engineering. Yes, give me genetic engineering. Meanwhile, Brindisium builds a granary. Um, uh, temple. Okay, hold on. First of all, city improvements, woman suffrage. What does it do? Reduces unhappy people by one per... By one per unit not in home city, under republic or democracy. Huh, okay, that's weird. Not really what I want to do right now. I need metallurgy. That wasn't even a choice just now, right? Rome builds Isaac Newton's College. Oh, look Look at Rome. Rome is just filled with monuments, which is kind of how it is in real life, but not quite this particular collection. We are doing Darwin's Voyage somewhere else. Let's do Factory here. 
And we're going to send this diplomat to Babylon. Uh, so I built a railroad there. So now looking at this. So, okay. If there's two of something, it becomes three. Right. So, we'll want to railroad up everything, right? There's like no downsides to railroading things. So I guess I will send this to back to my capital. Babylonians want to speak with me. Sure, what do you want? Wait, are we at war? I'm pretty sure we're at peace. Well, now we're very much at peace. So, establish embassy. Meet with king. Right, so this is how you talk to people. Let's establish an embassy. Intelligence report. Republic of the Romans, President Gensag, subject Babylonians, friendly, perfectionist, civilized. They have, um, they have personality traits? I didn't know that. Technologies. Hmm. I didn't know these. Is that a cannon? Oh, come on. Are you serious? Well, first of all, you just go to that tile. Why can't they just leave us alone? The Indians build Magellan's expedition. Sure. I'm not too concerned about that. Genetic engineering. Cure for cancer. Uh, metallurg... No, I should get conscription now. <laughs> For the defense, not the offense. So Bremen is gonna take some hits. Um... What do I want to do? I could just get a catapult to maybe attack out when required. Right, that cannon might do something. I gotta be careful. Uh, sure. I'm assuming cannons just ignore walls or something like that. Right? I'm actually losing money. Shakespeare's Theatre, that's okay. I was not too worried about that. Oh, Cure for Cancer, I forgot about that. Funds are running low, I know. Let's go tax rates, a bit more money. What does Cure for Cancer actually do? Plus one happy citizen in each city, that's pretty good. What's Rome doing right now? Factory? Man, I'm not making money. Uh, this hill tile should definitely railroad. Oh my god, actual civilization gaming on Twitch. Well, <laughs> we should be making money, right? I, I increase taxes. Carthage builds a bank. Um, get a university. Yeah, we're making money now. Okay, good. I do kind of need money. Babylonians acquire physics from the Egyptians. Oh, because I have an embassy, I can know that now. Right, of course. So we're at 1893. We've got a cure for cancer and just got conscription. So rifleman unit. Uh, you know what? I'm not too bothered about war. I just want to be able to survive. So, the Rifleman, 
351. Wow. 351. I will get... I know it's outdated, but I will get a catapult just because it is 6 attack. Nicopolis builds university. Oh, take their city tiles for your own. Oh, right. I could do that now. Um, get a factory. Okay, we are making some money. Leipzig com completes Darwin's voyage. It's just a fountain with a turtle on it. I was like, what are they going to do to build Darwin's voyage? A ship or something? No, it's it's a fountain with a, well, tortoise on it. <laughs> Refining, very good. Like, we're, we're feeling pretty modern era right now. Power plant improvement. Combustion. That sounds like space to me. Oh, right. We get free tech because of Darwin's voyage. That's what it was. Thank you for combustion. Very nice. Cruiser unit. Automobile and flight. All right. Uh, oh, all our barracks are obsolete again. Okay. Flight. We can't get to space if we can't get to the sky. Let's get factory. Good. Seven million people. Very nice. Um, so we're at war right now. So let me fortify you. And what we can do is we can just walk down to there. If I fortify right there, I should be able to claim that tile. Yeah, that guy in the toga is Sid himself, yes. Okay, so now we can claim this tile. <laughs> now it's my tile. Um, there is some unhappy... Oh, no, don't do that. Um, let's get a factory. Everywhere should get factories. That's fine. That's what we built those... Well, I didn't build that city, but that's what I kept that city for. Rome is actually not growing. There's like no more source of food. Could I do this to give Rome food? Yeah, okay. I can get it growing a little bit more. Like, it's not a great spot. You know, but yeah, any uh, happiest? We're second? Babylon's fourth? Okay, we're not the happiest people, but sure. We're building factories, though. Byzantium builds factory. Pollution being produced. Power plant. Power plant sounds important. Let me check what power plants actually do. Is it more production? Factory production is increased by 50%. High pollution level. Yeah. Can I buy this bank? Yes. That's going to be super worth it. So should I be doing power plants? I guess it's fine, right? Like, I would be training more settlers for railroads if I could. <laughs> if I could automate settlers. Discovered flight, though. Fighter unit. Very nice. I'm thinking I need metallurgy at this point before I get any more metal into the sky. <laughs> Cesarea builds bank. Um, I should definitely get a rifleman here. Replace one of those phalanxes. This is one of my most important cities. I don't want to suddenly lose it. Hamburg builds factory. Good. Uh, yep, that's... Continue with banks and universities. Emissary from the Indians, yes. Do you want to maybe declare peace? I'm not giving you any money. Prepare for war, okay. That's up to you. Uh, we can buy these cheap things at Brundisium just to get Brundisium a little bit more up there. Rome, 19th century. What if metal? <laughs> We're literally... 1899, and we're researching metallurgy after we discovered flight. 
Um, what can I even do here? How much is it to just buy a factory here? 800? Okay, well, work your way up to that. So, oh, look at all that production from this tile right there. I should railroad that next tile as well. Got lots of production going here. Yes, yeah, save the game. 1900 AD. We're getting into the modern era here. Ah, oh, see, once we once we conquered enough of an empire, right, and we managed to settle into democracy and just sit back, develop our cities, like actually, you know, build structures, stay in democracy, research technologies. Electricity. We definitely need steel and electricity if we want to go to space. Like, how... How fa far away are we to space tech? Ooh, we got one of those. You wake up. Also change to... Power plant, I guess. You fortify. You disband. Get caravan to Brundisium. Like, um, I didn't actually check Rome Builds Factory. Fantastic. So much more production coming in here. Uh, get a power plant. I sent a caravan to Byzantium. Hmm, look at that. Power plant. We got power lines. Yeah, Byzantium didn't get a trade route. So uh, the caravan only benefits its origin city. Kill for cancer here, I guess. Sure. There's so much production in that city. How to go to space without electricity. <laughs> yeah, a bit hard. Rebuild your barracks. Should I, though? Oh. I killed that one. Bremen. Finish this, please. Thank you. Babylonians develop metallurgy. Cannon. Yeah, we got conscript riflemen pretty much around the correct time, 1900. Hamburg builds university. Yep, great. I mean, we're pretty much... I mean, maybe we got flight... No, no, actually, we got flight about the... Yeah, we're pretty much correct in terms of how we're doing things. Like, in terms of the timeline. Let's get a rifleman here. The inability to upgrade units is a real pain. You can see so much improved into Civ 2, right? So much improved into Civ 2. Mm. I don't even have a library here. Are they going to approach? I don't know. All right, 1906. You want to rebuild barracks because veteran units are stronger? Well, I know what... I know what barracks do. <laughs> There's no option to update units. No, not not in this one. Hmm. We've got electricity. Wait, how are we building power plants without discovering electricity? How does that make sense? What were we building power plants for? <laughs> Electronics, advanced flight, communism, steel. Advanced flight feels important. I, I don't understand. We, we were building power plants, but we did not have electricity. What what was the power? <laughs> we don't have electronics either, so how do we have power plants? Mm -hmm. That gets us a lot of production. That's very nice. Um, oh, so we can get more food by building railroads on these irrigated tiles. Right, that makes sense. So that's how we get through some of these blockades. 
Okay, you're now there. To the library. Should I just send that? Uh, I'm sending cannons down there. Brandisium. Get a rifleman. We're gonna need more defense there. Okay. 1910. Oh, multiple cannons? Did we win or lose that one? We won that one. Um, fighter, cruiser, cannon. We should probably have a cannon here, right? Let's fortify you. Let's see if the rifleman can hold off the cannons. Seems like no. Whoa! -ho -ho! Look at this, we've got computers! Advanced flight? We might lose that city. It's a terrible city, but whatever. Um, let's get electronics. Uh, in terms of Brandisium, we do not have any more units. We can try complete that. I don't have... I don't have anything I can send down. And I've even built a road to it. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, railroading these... Tiles does help with the farming. Probably will lose that city. Oh, we won that fight. <gasps> oh, we didn't we didn't lose. We actually won that one. Rome builds power plant. Oh, fantastic. Right in front of the pyramids. So much production. Bank, we don't have a bank here. Give me the money. Leipzig Bills Bank. Very nice. Get a power plant. I also need more defense in Hamburg. Hamburg Bills Bank. Okay, get me a rifleman. Two turns. Very nice. Berman Builds Library. Very nice. Get me a university. No, get me a power plant. Eridu Builds Library. Now that we got these factories, like, everything is just... like, building so quickly. I'm gonna get you in there. You need to... I need something to shoot out. A bomber, 60 turns. <laughs> Doesn't even make sense. Sure, bomber. Fortify. <laughs> uh... Okay, we should be able to hold you, home city, fortify. And that city is just there to block the path. So that they can't get to other cities. Barbarian landing party at Eridu. Is Eridu defended enough for this? I'd like to have a rifleman. You power plant. Fortify. Ah. Okay, we can survive that, we can survive that, we can survive that. Okay, good. Marshmallow, you're new here? Uh, it's only Civilization today. Yeah, we've been going for quite a while today. Civilization 1 is today. Nicopolis builds factory. Very good. Nice production here. Get a power plant. Pollution near Bremen. Pollution near Byzantium. Okay, we gotta start... Clearing pollution, I think. Mm. 
we are wanting to uh, this place is starving for some reason wait why do i oh because those military units stood on my tiles <laughs> Uh, Civilization 1. There's going to be a sequel. Well, they're making Civilization 7. Civil Disorder in Caesarea. Why are you so unhappy? Hmm. What am I currently... Ooh, we got electronics! Very nice. Uh-huh, good. Hydro power plant, Hoover Dam Wonder. What do those do? Computer is very important. Eight million citizens. Let me check. City improvements. Um, it was... Was it Hoover... Hoover Dam? Supplies hydropower to all cities on the continent. Okay, which means hydro plant. Factory production has increased 50%. Existing pollution is reduced. Oh, we should get high Hoover Dam. Okay, who's building what? Um, cure for cancer. I could get Hoover Dam in six turns. <laughs> I could get it. No, I can't buy it. Okay, no cure for cancer. Hoover Dam only. <laughs> cure for cancer, unfriended. Hoover Dam, new best friend. I should probably... still do cure for cancer. It'd be good for the happiness. One happiness per... Yeah, let's get cure for cancer in Rome instead. Order restored in Caesarea. Good. Size 16, this city. 1917. Ah, okay. Cool. This is... This is actually working out really well. And even... Oh, I see a new Indian city. I see two new Indian cities. They, they just sneak settlers in and settle a, a loose city somewhere. But they can't be getting much. I should actually get a settler to clear that pollution. Right, settler. Like Dhaka, Punjab, like it's just so inefficient places to build cities. Cathedral. There's like no production here. Whatever, it's fine. And to build railroads everywhere. It's just so tedious. I can't... I can't be bothered. Indus built right there. Okay. Punjab, Dhaka. They're gonna build a city right there, I bet. <laughs> sure. 394 in the bank. Pollution near Leipzig. Okay. Uh, if I check trade advisor discoveries every six turns if I check civilization advances this isn't even in order like what what allows space stuff space flight requires computers and rocketry SS structural improvement Apollo program wonder so it is stuff like that